everyone, this is Mike Regan here, uh, GamingRing.com, and you know, I haven't really done these, I haven't done a lot of these recently, um, I, haven't, I don't think I've done any since I moved uh, in June, so it, I'm going to do a quick Regan rant, and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, wrestling games, which, you know, is my favorite subject, and obviously it's your favorite subject, or you wouldn't be here listening to me right now. Um, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Uh where, where I start. I mean, I've, I've talked about it on the podcast, and you know how much I uh, I enjoyed playing it at, at SummerSlam and uh, seeing what they had in plan for it. And um, I had to tell you, um, out of every big announcement or so what they've announced so far on SmackDown versus Raw 2011, what excited me the most about the game is the WWE Universe mode, and. Um, no, I haven't had a chance to actually play the universe mode, but what they've shown me and what they've told me what it, what's about and how I mean how it's really going to change the single player experience. Um, I couldn't. I'm, I'm said that's probably the biggest feature that I'm excited about for this year. I mean, there's of course the online mode is is big for people, but uh, for me, I mean, I don't play a lot of online. I mean, I play mostly single player. Um, I go through the road to WrestleMania. Um, and I, I, you know, play exhibition matches uh, with you know my the downloadable creator wrestlers or the creator wrestlers that I that I make. Um, so I am really, really, really looking forward to uh, going through uh, WWE Universe and just I'm 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 actually going to try to find all 100 of those uh, moments that you know that they say they're in the game, and um, I'm kind of curious. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of feedback about about that. I mean, it's you know, you know usually, um, but I've you know I've seen a lot of feedback about the roster, obviously, and um, but not not so much on the WWE universe. So I'm kind of curious on what you guys think about the WWE universe, and uh, are you looking forward to it? Are you, do you think it's going to be a waste of time? You're not really going to use it very much. And why? Tell me why, because I am I'm very curious in seeing and hearing why. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to uh, the THQ crew, uh, Marcus, uh, Brian, and um, John, uh, John Durr. and um, basically they they have really uh, you know over you know you you we've all seen it over the years where basically the only time you know we hear from THQ or hear from the development team is when either you know they're either interviewed or or uh, yeah that's it really I mean that's the only time we we see Brian or, you know, the face behind THQ who makes the games that, you know, that we spend our money on. And for, you know, Marcus to go out there and, you know, and, and I, for, I forgot Aaron, Aaron uh, Tank, THQ Tank, uh, for them to go out there and talk about the game and interact with the fans, you know, I mean, Marcus is everywhere. I mean, he's, you know, he's on the community, the official community boards. I mean, he was on all the other forums. Um, he's on Twitter. He, I, I've seen him answer thousands and thousands and thousands of your questions. And, um, that's cool. I mean, that is, you know, that's, that I don't, in fact, I, I can honestly say that has never happened at THQ where you have somebody out there who's just, who's basically just, his job is to basically answer your questions, which is outstanding. Um, if anything, I think this is going to help build the, the community. Um, it's going to help build the fan base, and um, I'm excited about it. Um, also, you know, he's also been on our podcast. We're going to have him on a podcast again uh, this week, so be sure to check that out. Uh, GR8 SVR cast, like we we're calling it. Um, I also want to talk about. Uh, I know this is a little rambling, but I can. It's a Regan rant, by the way. Um, EA Sports MMA. Uh, that comes out October 19th. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to actually uh, playing that game as well. And it's, uh, you know, I, 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 I liked UFC 2009. Um, 2010, not so much. Um, but EA Sports MMA, I played it at E3, and uh, I liked what I saw. I mean, I, I liked the roster, obviously. Um, sure, I didn't have, you know, Brock Lesnar and... Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, uh, Forrest Griffin, you know, the UFC guys, but, you know, the people that he does have, they're, you know, they're, they're top-notch fighters. You have Bob Sapp, you know, he's not a top-notch fighter, but uh, he's he's one of my favorites, just from 
the longest yard uh, well, has a sentimental spot for me. Um, of course, you know, Randy Couture, you know, who uh, arguably probably one of the most popular MMA fighters in the world, especially after him knocking out uh, uh, that Tooney at, at the last UFC pay per view, which I you know, was great. I mean, I, the reaction for that was awesome, and I, I'm hoping that. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, that THQ and EA take take note on how a audience and crowd can make fights or matches, pro wrestling matches, more exciting than than they really are sometimes. Um, so if you know if they can improve the audio presentation, just with the crowd, you know, with the chants and the you know the the inter interaction between, the, I don't know if they can do it in the video form, but, you know, the interaction between the crowd and themselves, you know, uh, this, or, let's go, uh, Austin, let's go, rock, you know, the back and forth like that, and they could do something like that, that would, that would, that would be awesome, especially, yeah, they do, they do it right, um, I, I would like, definitely must like to see that, um, let's see, oh, I, have to remind you guys again. Be sure to check out the GRA Gamecast. Uh, we we'll, we will have Marcus Stevenson on the program. Um, we're, we're shooting for Wednesday, uh, Wednesday at ten thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will be live. So we will be able to take your questions and answer your uh, your take your suggestions, get your questions, and uh, we'll be responding to them live on air. And uh, we you know we did a podcast uh, was. Friday, and it, uh, I thought it went very well. I mean, Marcus was on the program; he was scheduled, but he had to reschedule at the last minute. But uh, you know, the interaction with the, the chat room and the, the Twitter account, and uh, you know, I think we got a lot of good information out there. I, mean, I had a good time uh, talking with my friends. Um, anyway, so be sure to check that out, and be sure to check out the rest of Gaming Ring. Um, also. I'm very proud to, to say this because he's a good he's a good he's a good cat he's a good friend. Um, David Horn, aka Action Nine Three Seven, I believe it is. If it's not Action Nine Eight Seven Nine Three Seven, anyway, Action. Um, he just released his uh, first or his first his second uh, indie game Xbox indie uh, video game. It's on the marketplace. Uh, Action Arcade Wrestling. Um, be sure to check it out. It's one dollar. Um, it's it's fun. I had I mean I downloaded it. So uh, it's definitely well worth one buck. It's awesome, and um, be sure to check it out and support him. And uh, basically, uh, also while you're at it, be sure to ch you might want to check out um, on the on the website we have the uh, the gaming ring version of Homebrew Wrestling. Uh, I'm a playable character in the game, and I believe Stan Morris is uh, from uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Anyway. So be sure to check that out, and uh, be sure to check out Gaming Ring, the entire website. Um, we, have, we always have stuff going on. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please feel free to email me. My email address is mike at gamingring.com. That's G-A-M-I-N-G-R-I-N-G.com. Anyway, all right, email me. We're live? We're live, pal. Okay, we're live, pal. Hello, everyone. This is Matt Bad from Blah, 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 blah. We'll do that again. <laughs> I don't know. 